You hear this thing? Tinkle, tinkle, little star in the background. Kind of sounds like a woman peeing at night. You know how women pee different? Like men, you can tell it's a man peeing, but women have like, they either have like this like really slow tinkle or the most aggressive like waterfall pee ever in the world. Like it's the craziest thing. It's a dichotomy, it's a spectrum, it's women pee. So that's a thing, but anyways. Back hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. As you can tell by the title, we got simple sausages, three ways today. Here we go, very simple. Two ingredients on each, three on this one. Had to go in with a little extra fresh onion on there. But we're gonna do something we haven't done in a little while. Before we do anything more, we must. Papa, <laughs> pour. I've got a uh, Timmy hose glass here, if you could see, cup I should say, plastic. Cracked on the side, that might uh, give some leaks, hopefully not. Anyways, we have a ton of little like marbled ice here and we have a full Suge, Suge Knight, Doc P. So can't wait to have a nice indulgent full sugar Dr. P and have some sausage -y and just enjoy this because I have not had sausages in who knows how long. I'm usually a hot dog guy. It's very interesting having this conversation from behind a <laughs> Dr. Pepper cup ice pour thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. You're probably feeling that this is strange. Anyhow, icebergs over the top. Super fresh. Just picked her up from the store. Slide those back into frame. The best. Ice man had to get in right when we get the ice in our face. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. I haven't had a frigid, oh, icy dog pee in a long time. Full sugar, amazing. You hear this thing? Tinkle, tinkle, little star in the background. Kind of sounds like a woman peeing at night. You know how women pee different? Like men, you can tell it's a man peeing, but women have like, they either have like this like really slow tinkle or the most aggressive like, waterfall pee ever in the world like it's the craziest thing it's a dichotomy it's a spectrum it's women pee so that's a thing but anyways uh let's eat sausages beautiful soft buns i just picked up oh with a cheese hanger on there but i shredded the cheese and all nice and uh, i gave them just a little a little thing in the microwave a little just to get them a little steamy soft and i'm very excited i have schneider's sausages in here they're cheese filled sausages and uh, they're amazing, it's super salty. <laughs> In my opinion, how a uh, sausage or pepperette or meat product should be packed full of sodium. <laughs> For whatever reason, I wanted soft buns today. I was debating toasted, but I was like, I don't know. I think today I need a soft cradled. Sausage and a soft bun. What's this focus about? Come back to me. And coming off the OnlyFans video, it's only appropriate that we uh, have salty weenies and soft buns and put them in our mouth. <laughs> Come on. Okay, this focus is tripping, dog. There we go. By the time this video comes out, I will have not 
the video will have not lo lived long enough for me to go through the comments and have a good time in them, have a good laugh, and just see where people's heads are at. I'm sure they will be interesting. Also, something I forgot to mention in that one, obviously I know that like prostitution and sex work is like the oldest work in the world. <laughs> Medieval times, medieval, medieval society, we've been doing it. <laughs> it's old hat. All right, where do we go? We go barbecue with barbecue chips or ketchup with crispy onions. I think I'm going to go barbecue, barbecue, barbecue chips. There was uh I went to go get a bag of salt and vinegar chips because Lay's original salt and vinegar crispy is my favorite. They only had family size and it was like $4.79 for the bag. And then as soon as I turned the aisle, there was like the store brand kettle cooked chips and it was four bags for uh, five bucks or four bucks. They're like a buck a bag. And I was like, I'll just get two salt and vinegar and two barbecue that because I can't pass that up. Excuse me. <laughs> Even though it wasn't my exact crave, I was like, there's no way I can pass up four bags of chips for under the price of one bag of ch <laughs> chips in these uh, economic times. This one's amazing. The sweetness and the crunch against the salty. Mm. Is where it's at. I haven't had sausages in so long. I forget how good they are. Before that, a little refresher magic. <sighs> Could be the highlight of the meal. <laughs> Might just be. All right, y'all. The final countdown. The ketchup and crispy O's. Is it weird that, was anybody else like this? Like. Okay, some people eat a dog almost like straight down the middle, so either way you eat it, it's the same difference. Or you kind of eat it more from the side. And in this way, I can only eat it with the bottom being on my bottom, the top being on my top. If I went to bite it like this, I, I should say like this, like if the top and the bottom was opposite, it like mentally fucks me up. Is that OCD? I think so. We have to have matchy match. Tops and bottoms gotta link up. In other random update news, that short of mine, that 
was getting big views, keeps getting big views. I'm almost at a million now. It's at 900,000. <laughs> and we have like 2,500 subscribers now. So go that short. I can't believe. how fast it just keeps climbing. I think it's destined to hit a million. I wasn't sure that it would. I thought it'd cap out at about, in my head I was thinking like 600,000, but she skyrocketed way past that. So we're going into the mills, I think, or into a mill. Not sure why, if it's because it sat the longest, but for some reason, the snap on this one is like it doesn't give, like, there's way it's way harder to snap off to get it to bite. Maybe I crisped the skin more than the others on this one in the pan. I think I confused them. I think I accidentally put the barbecue chips on the ketchup and the crispy onions on the bar on the barbecue, and that was the barbecue. I can tell there's like a spice to it. So I switched that one, I fucked that up. So those were delicious. Maybe one of these days I'll get like hyper <laughs> and like storytellish again. I'm not sure, but really what I'm trying to say is I have two new channels or different channel ideas, which I might have the gall to do the undertaking, but I just know it's gonna be such a mission to just start a whole new venture or two ventures maybe but i have two good ideas and i think they'd be i think they'd be like a fun enjoyable i just think they'd be more a nice a welcomed change in life still do some of this but also do that shit and try to build in a different way like take a whole new approach on some shit um but i have to like work up the fortitude, the mental fortitude to go through with new ventures and just all the work that comes with it and just the whole like, is it gonna do anything? Will it ever be successful? Does it eventually make me any sort of profit? Like, cause you have to go through all the things again. You have to get all the watch time and the subscribers and the blah, blah, blah. The subscribers would be easy to get cause I could get a thousand no problem, I'm sure from just you guys coming over, but it's the hours, the hours, the hours to the point where it actually becomes monetizable and then so you got to put in sweat equity again which is that's the reality of the world you got to put in your sweat equity before you start making money in business and things like that in ventures and entrepreneurial independent things um okay well delicious till the next one you know what to do you could live well stay true